Hello again viewers, I've made it to Turkey. Welcome to beautiful Marmaris. It's very nice here. Wait till you see this place. But I have got a wee warning. Be careful if you're flying here. Avoid this mistake, you might go hungry. I'll let you know about that in a wee minute. How nice is it here? So we're just down at the marina, viewers, and you'll not believe it. My accommodation is two minutes walk round the corner. How beautiful night. I've done a wee sunset walk for you. The sun has literally just gone down. It's just after half past seven at night. It is lovely here. Let me tell you how I got here and all the things that have been going on, viewers. This is literally my second video that I've done here. It is beautiful. Look at this. The wee boats got a taxi right there, a couple of restaurants. There's more shops down there, but there's some security guard down there was kind of frowning at me filming. So we'll, go, we'll revisit that one another time. Here's you two's favourite restaurant, Bono restaurant. Uh, a couple of viewers have recommended this restaurant. It, it looks beautiful. Um, I think it was maybe, maybe you, Irene, and a few other people sent me messages on Facebook. Uh, if you like your cats, a lot of cats running about here as well. So that's a Bono restaurant. It's very affordable as well. Breakfast was like six pounds. Got margarita pizza from six pounds. Look at the setting. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Apartment just round the corner. Forty-two pounds for bed and breakfast. It'll be a Turkish breakfast, so it'll be a bit different. Um, what boat do you fancy? How nice is it here? We need to tell you about the plans of yours, so we're planning over the next few days, okay? So, by now hopefully the airport video has been up. I've got no data here. I phoned though two the other day and they said I would have data in Turkey. It turns out that's a lie. Uh, there's no data, so I'm having to nip in places and get Wi-Fi and I'll see if I can sort out a data plan and get some videos up as soon as possible. So if you've seen the Edinburgh video, a wee hello to John, Magic McQuaid's, lovely meeting you um, at Edinburgh Airport. Scorpio Bar, oh, some of these places look lovely, don't they? Golden Plate. How nice is it here, viewers? Maybe you've not been to Marmaris before or you're thinking of coming here. I can tell you the marina is beautiful. It's a lovely wee place. There's the big chefs go in there. Specialised in pizza, obviously, as well. Very, very nice. I've not walked up here, so viewers, you're coming with me for the very first time. So I got the bus delayed from Glasgow to Edinburgh through, ch through security just over an hour before my flight. Um, flight was delayed a wee bit, about half an hour. Wait to tell you this feels, but if you're coming here, I'm going to, I'm going to recommend a transfer company. This is cheapest I found. Yelkin looks lovely in there as well. These places all look really nice, don't they? I'll get busy later on, probably a wee bit early for dinner here, about half past seven, but what a beautiful night. 31 degrees earlier on, it's probably now about 25, 26. It still taps half weather, definitely. Um, simple in there as well. Cocktails, we need to stay away back to the music. Let's continue around here. Check out these boats, they are crackers. Oh, I know quite a lot of people like the boats because you can Google the names of them sometimes and get information on them. When I was in uh, Malaga, quite a few people done that. So this is called the Endeavour. Is it, or is it the Endeavour 2? I don't know if that's a wee bit at the end, but it's called the Endeavour. It looks a lovely look. Malta, Valletta. So it came from Malta. Looks beautiful. There's Nazi's boat there. Naz. Absolutely stunning. Let's check out the rest of these places. So viewers, I'm going to recommend my um, transfer for you. It's a long way away, the transfer. That's one of the disadvantages, I think, of Turkey. A lot of the transfers are long. It took an hour and 25 minutes, and I got a private transfer walked out the airport and get picked up straight away. I could not have got here any quicker. The bus would have took a lot longer because I wouldn't have got a bus right away. Sky bar, surely be rooftop up there. There's a guy up on the roof there, see him? <laughs> Sky bar. Oh, it's nice here. We need to get a wee bit of live music back, viewers. How nice is it? Right, viewers, I'm going to recommend this uh, company. So, viewers, if you just Google Ziggy transfers, Ziggy, Z-I-G-G-Y, 40 pounds, and that was just one way. If you book a return, it's £35 each way. By far the cheapest they could find. The bus is quite expensive, so if there's two of you, it's a no-brainer. You would definitely get a transfer here. As you know, I always get public transport. I never get taxis or private transfers. But I was arriving here so late, I just thought I'd get here as soon as possible and do videos. Ziggy transfers, I recommend them 100%. Got me here the quickest time possible. You can check them out on Facebook or just Google it and the details will come up. You book with them, 
on their website and you send them your details, you fill a wee form in, they'll send you a WhatsApp and then um, you just tell them your flight number when you're landing and everything, there's somebody waiting on you with your name outside. Now I did film somebody waiting on me outside, yours, but unfortunately the police, as soon as I entered Turkey, told me to stop filming at the airport. I got a wee out at the airport, Frank Sinatra's, my way. How nice is it here? Beautiful, it's going to be really nice here later on. This will be on my way back later on probably, and my head back here. This is the bar that I like here, definitely. A lot of the football games on here as well. I've not checked the fixtures. I'll be watching the Scotland game on Friday somewhere. We'll discuss where that's going to be in a wee minute, viewers. Friday is a big game. Can Scotland qualify almost and beat Cyprus? I'm terrified to think they might blow it. That may be the headline, by the way, on Friday. It's the heads up. <laughs> How nice is it here? One of the nicest wee marinas I've been to. And as you know, I have visited a lot. It's beautiful here. Alice. There's a restaurant up there, rooftop bar up there, how nice is that, beautiful, very nice, I'm impressed where this is, uh, and I'm just staying around the corner, I can't believe it. Let's continue viewers, so but I have got a serious warning if you're coming here, as you know I booked a flight with TUI and it was chartered with a company called Freebird, who were absolutely fine, no complaints whatsoever about the company, but I have to let you know viewers, I was very surprised on the flight when you hear this. Okay, as you know, it's a four and a half hour flight. It's a long flight. Cash only on Freebird. Now, I'm all for cash only, sort of. Cash is king, but not in a flight when people are used to just having cards. Fortunately, I did see the wee small print when I booked it. I needed cash, so I did have cash on me. But imagine you just had one of the Monzo or travel cards. Um, or Revolut cards and you didn't have any cash on you, which a lot of people do now, you would be on that flight for four and a half hours with no food and no drink. I can't see any other way around it unless you ask your neighbours next to you to buy you a wee drink. So a wee heads up, if you're flying with Freebird at the time of filming, you'll need cash on the flight to buy food and drink, okay? Now most people bring cash, bring liras or euros, whatever, they'll bring cash with them but there's definitely going to be a few people on the flight who get caught out with that. We do everything on the card. So, just a wee heads up, viewers. Cash on the flight with Freebird, okay? Now, I'm not a big fan when I go into places and they do card only and they don't do cash. I would say it should be illegal because they're discriminating against older people and people who are not comfortable maybe using their cards. That's the way it's going these days. But, um, 100%. Most local businesses probably prefer cash because they're saving bank fees. But only occasion where I say they should be doing a mix, definitely the two, definitely, we'd be on a damn flight. Because <laughs> if you get caught for four and a half hours, then it's going to be a long flight, isn't it? Now, viewers, the why not bar is interesting me because I can see a guitar up here, which indicates possibly they've got live music. And I can see it advertised up there. Ah, uh, they've got a DJ, okay. You've got a DJ on, let's see it around the back if we've got any other advertisements here. Jack, Uncle Jack lives here. It's your bar, Jack lives here. Okay, so DJ on. Later on, we'll wait and see viewers. Again, as in most of the videos, I've came here a wee bit too early. Um, but you're still seeing how nice it is. It's Prince's favourite, Purple Rain. Looks lovely in there as well. You hear the call to prayer because the mosque is just around the corner as well. First impressions. I've watched a few videos on YouTube of Marmaris and I did see the marina area. I don't think they do it justice. It's even nicer than I expected. Very, very nice. If you need a carpet for yours, if you want to take... I cannot get that in my luggage allowance. I can't get it. If you want a carpet, there's a place there as well, okay? Take a wee wander down here. The UK flag up there, I think, as well. Turkish flags. Tiger Barracuda bar, how nice is it here? We've got um, all sorts for sale here. Now I'm going to continue all the way along here. I don't know where I'll end up or what I'm going to be doing. I believe that the busy nightclub area, Bar Street Canary, kind of is running here as well, which will probably suit me because I'll head back down here later on. How nice is it? So a wee warning, be careful if you're flying here and you're on Freebird, make sure that you've got cash, check the wee lighthouse here, make sure you've got cash. Um, I recommend that transfer company, um, if you're on an 
absolute budget. Like I normally, I'm, I'm on a budget normally here, right? But the circumstances, the transfers are so long in this resort. I just thought this is going to save me time and I'll be able to get some more videos done for you. So I was glad to get the transfer. How beautiful is this first? Check out these boats. I was watching a video on the way over on YouTube, and our Scottish guy, YouTuber is really good, a guy's called Steve Marsh. And uh, he doesn't really visit the places that I do, like Terry Bendham. He goes to, uh, I would say, more cultural destinations, to be honest with you. He was in Gothenburg, and he was checking out some of the boats there. His channel is brilliant, I recommend it. Um, he loves a wee boat. Steve, you like these boats, I bet you. It's nice, eh? Okay, viewers, hold on. I forgot to tell you this. It's important. If you're new to the channel, where have you been? You've missed all these videos, I've been all over Europe. But I'm in Turkey, so that's good news if you're enjoying it. Do me a favour, doesn't cost a penny. Hit the wee subscribe button there, it's absolutely free. Give it a wee thumbs up. If you're on your TV, big TV, 50% of you are on TVs, hit the wee camera icon down there. Click OK and it'll say, do you want to subscribe to the channel? Of course, because it doesn't cost a penny. That's all I ask, just a wee favour. Doesn't really make any difference to the channel, I'm being honest with you, it makes no difference, but I'll ask you anyway. I would go as far as saying this might be one of the best videos I've done at the start of a resort. I don't think, I think as things go on, it's going to, it's going to be hard to top this. There's a high side restaurant up there if you want a wee rooftop, but how nice is it here, but really nice. I'm going to be heading all the way down there, there's Cafe Dubai um, as well, I've no idea what's around there, I forgot to tell you viewers, hold on, I can't believe I've got to tell us, wait to tell us. Another important thing, if you're not signed up for my free newsletter, check it out, it doesn't cost any, I sent a newsletter out yesterday letting you know where it was going the next few days, what we're planning to do viewers, is we're going to spend a couple of days here, and everything goes to plan, I'm getting the ferry over to Rhodes and I've not decided yet where I'm going to go in Rhodes. I can tell you 100% there's one place I'm definitely going and that's Rhodes Town, Rhodes Old Town. Everywhere else is up for debate. Lindos looks beautiful. I'm just not sure how many videos I can do there. Maybe one or two. Um, Falaraki, the strip might be worth filming for views. Don't know. Don't, is there anything else in Falaraki I can film? I'm not sure. It might be like Cabos but there's nothing else to film apart from the strip. So I'm not quite sure viewers. Um, a few other recommendations I've had as well, so I need to think about it. But in the meantime, how nice is it here? The boats are amazing here. I would say, I would go as far to say it's the nicest marina I've been in. Nicer than Porto Venus. Porto Venus are all just kind of big massive boats. These boats have actually got character, they can just, you can just tell. I'm not an expert, but just, their quality. So, that's Cafe de Dubai. Do you think I can make it to Dubai one day, viewers? I don't know how many videos I can do in Dubai, how walkable that city is. What do you think? Anybody who's been to Dubai, let me know. I know it's pricey, don't worry about that. It's just whether I can do enough videos. The criteria for me is how many 10 minute videos can I do in a resort. I think I'm going to do quite a few in Marmaris. Look at these people here having dinner, chilling out on their boats. Oh, how the other half live, viewers. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Wee supermarket there as well. And then we've got Silk Road here as well. Okay viewers, I'm going to get my bearings, I'm going to figure out where I book the tickets to Rhodes. So I'm going to be here in the next two or three days, hopefully, getting the boat over to Rhodes. I think it's going to cost about £40, maybe £50, I don't know. Nice wee restaurant here, I can smell the food, it smells amazing. Okay viewers, I'm heading down that way. I've no idea what's down here. We're just going to walk all the way along and see what we can find. Thank you so much. What a beautiful place. It's surprising because seeing the way here on the journey, on the transfer, there's nothing really to tell you about. There's nothing of interest. It's not really that nice a journey. But you come here and you're like, wow, beautiful, isn't it? Anyway viewers, waffled enough. Time to let you go. It's goodbye. I'm beautiful, marmorous. Be careful on the flight, but bring cash with you, okay?